Welcome back everybody, I am White Wolf and this is episode 19 of Final Fantasy 15 and we are here, we're about to do <clears throat> the main quest, I believe this is the last main quest of chapter 8, Brave New Worlds, when I think we're going to all, it starts today, we're going somewhere, we're going on a boat, we're going somewhere, I don't know where we're going, so let's go. I guess we ride. We, we ride. Uh, once you depart, you will lose access to the open world for a while, and rental chocobos will automatically turn to the post. Okay, so uh, Altisha, that's where we're going. Yes, we're going to Altisha. Yes. Haven't been to Altisha yet. Haven't seen pictures of it. Ooh, the the black dog's back. Let's see what we, what she wrote from the other episode. Waiting for you in Atisha. Uh, I'll be there as fast as I can. Got it. Getting ready to set sail. Let's do that one. That's a good one. See you later, little man. And we are riding down the elevator. This is the first time I've ever done this. Look, Prince Noctis. Even the Marshal came to say goodbye. He came to so so we have uh, Marshal Core here. Hello, door bracelet. We did get a new weapon. Uh, Bronto has a new pistol. I heard the Regalia is going on the boat with you. Ooh, yay! Good. I Iris. guess it's goodbye for now. Bye bye, beautiful. Just hot. <clears throat> Something I gotta get off my chest. What's that? I'm sorry. Sorry I wasn't there for your father. I swore an oath to protect the king, but I wasn't strong enough to uphold it. Ain't nothing nobody could have done to stop what happened. Yeah. I realize that. But you need to realize just what you mean to the boys by your side. I do. Even if they can't solve your problems, you can't hide what's going on from them. It hurts like hell. Remember, those ain't your bodyguards. They're your brothers. Trust in them, always. Some um, deep talking right there. Um, where is it? It's a nice little boat we got there. All right, let's talk to Kor. You can never have too many tools. Here, learn to wield not only weapons, but magic as well. No. Um, I don't really do much magic. I don't like the magic system in here. Like, that I have to throw a ball like a freaking grenade. I don't like that personally. But that's my personal opinion. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. Talk. Waiting for it's an invitation? Boat. Get your asses on board. Nope. All right. Brave new world. Hey, your majesty. What's up? Please, come back soon. We need our king. <laughs> yeah. Count on it. Yeah, you do. We got a new trophy, Seaworthy. I know y'all can't see that. Because for some reason it blocks. Chapter 9. Atisha. We are level 57. Not bad. Um, over the break. 
uh, ever since the last episode, I have caught the two legendary fish. Oh, that's a great picture. Um, oh, I want that picture too. I've caught the two legendary fish, the big, the luge of the lake, and the big thing. I will make a video on it sometime, but, or it might, it might be out before this episode comes out. So, yeah, I'll see y'all at the end of the loading screen. Oh, Artisha looks beautiful already. Oh, great. This dick. Oh, this other dick. The wedding day arrives, but alas, without the bride. Of course, we've come for the Hydrian. And you've gone to such lengths to prepare. Merely my duty. Ah, oh, but for an outsider to lead, the Imperial Army must be a battle in and of itself. You've spoken to Lady Luna Freya. No. That obstinate secretary, standing in the way, while you rush off to slay the Hydrian for your poor sister's sake. I know the price of the Covenant. Oh, Tisha. Jeez, oh. jeez. Excuse me. Oh, we can you know, skip this? No, we're not I've skipping this. i always wanted to go sailing like this. Not many opportunities living in insomnia. Out here, it's just us and the horizon. It's amazing. It's life-changing. We've quite a ways to go until we reach Altisha, so keep gushing to your heart's content. When we step off the boat, we'll be in a foreign country. The anticipation alone is a foreign sensation. Then to think this is where we were headed to begin with. We've been through a lot. And there's still more to come. So next on the docket is Leviathan. What sort of deity are we dealing with? A serpent said to embody the roar and rage of the sea. We'll have to see for ourselves. Can't let Lady Luna Freya do all the heavy lifting. You must be so psyched to see her. Luna? Yeah. Well, we need to make sure she's all right before anything else. Indeed, her well-being is top priority. Don't like this going down on Imperial turf. You think Lady Lunafreya is in danger there? The Empire did invade Lucis for the Ring. I have no faith their ruthless ambitions will stop short of harming the Oracle. Without the Ring, the Crystal's no more than a rock. Hmm, I suppose. Does anyone know how Lady Lunafreya came to have the Ring? It seems likely His Majesty entrusted it to her safekeeping back at the Crown City. So she's held on to it this whole time, all the way to Altitia. The ring is important, and so is Leviathan. But Luna comes first. You know, I was thinking back to our encounter with Ravis. Hmm. Do you recall an apparatus in place of his arm? Yeah, I remember. Seems he lost his old one in the invasion. But in its place, he seems to have acquired new power. Power? That would help explain how a son of Tenebrae suddenly came to command Niflheim's army. Now that you mention it, his strength did seem sort of supernatural. I just chalked it up to the Oracle lineage. His ancestry may be part of it, but that alone wouldn't account for his freakish strength. I wonder what could have happened to him. There's a disturbing rumor about. Lord Ravus has taken to brandishing his majesty's sword. My dad. Then what's the big idea behind that? That his power's the same as the power of kings? I cannot say for sure, but I have my doubts. Ravus wears the sword, yet doesn't wield it. <laughs> for all his newfound powers, he's still the Chancellor's lapdog, holding on to the enemy king's sword like some badge of honor. It might help if we knew what he was after. Who can say? What are the odds the Empire will crash the pool party with Leviathan? Consider it a guarantee. They felled a god to prevent Noct from receiving his blessing. And they'll do so again. But we beat him to the big guy. Thanks to our friendly guide. Hm. Never know which way that one's gonna move next. 
The Chancellor has an agenda all his own. Sometimes it helps, like when he called off his army and let us escape. But he was still a creep about it. Well, it feels like he's only helping us because he wants something. I just don't know what. Reckon we'll see him again? Certainly hope not. Not your type? No love lost for phonies. As Gladio said, his actions are motivated not by altruism, but by self-interest. And when he does come to our aid, I see only condescension in his eyes. Yeah, can't argue with that. Ever think you think too much? Sometimes, but it's always preferable to the alternative. <sighs> are we there yet? Well, didn't you say you always wanted to go sailing? Yeah, but all this ocean gets kind of bland after a while. <sighs> Last time I checked, it was amazing and life-changing. So, soon you'll have your old man's ring back. Yeah, when we arrive in Altitia. Good thing. To him, it was his heritage. Is that what my dad said? Carrying a royal line ain't a task to be taken lightly. For a small thing, that ring can sure weigh heavy. After he became king, I only ever saw his face in the paper. Wait, weren't you at the coronation? No, I, I was long gone from the city. Must have been invited at least. Had a fallen out of sorts with your old man. Right at the end of the trip. You did? I was given to understand you stayed in touch. We buried the hatchet years later. But never talked face to face again. Should have paid a visit while I had the chance. Well, no use dwelling on it now. Got the regalia in the hold, but y'all gonna stay in Altitia for a good while, right? Yes, we believe so. In that case, I'll tune her up for y'all. Not that I'll have much to do, though. <laughs> well, with Cindy looking after the old girl. If you say she's good, she must be great. She was never afraid of hard work. Heaven knows she had a hard childhood. A hard childhood? He means her parents. Lost them both when she was little. Was big enough to understand, though. And to hurt. But you wouldn't guess that, seeing her now. Not at all. She's always so cheerful. Well, that ought to tell you how far she's come. Well, you must have seen your fair share of Altitia by now. Yeah. Only done been the once. Stayed a good while, though. What's it like? Big old city. Big. Okay. Well, it ain't the crown city. Different. Got it. You'll see for yourself. Foreign lands seldom lend themselves to trite explanations. Change the scenery ought to do you good. Well, I'm all talked out. Can't be far to Altitia now, right? We'll be there in no time. Nice having the wind at our backs. Lodgings are our first order of business. All work and no play? Makes Ignis a dull boy. Someone has to babysit you too. Well, you're welcome to sleep in the wild. Ain't no hotel, but I know a fella has a place. Hey now. Wescom ran with Reggie and me way back when. Oh, was he the other one in that photo with the garage? Yep. Runs himself a diner or a cafe or something. Go and see for yourselves. Sure. Does the place have a name? McGee or Magoo or uh, Mago. That's the one. Nice. You can count on Old Wes. <laughs> He'll chew your ears off. The government issued a statement promising that the reasons behind awakening the Hydrian would be clarified in the ceremonial address. Got a signal! Delivering the address will be Lady Luna Freya, who was previously reported dead. This will mark her first public appearance since the violence that befell the signing ceremony. Lady Luna Freya's gonna give a speech? Sounds like it. Lord knows. This world could use some wisdom. Won't be much longer now, Noct. Yeah. This place is beautiful. <laughs> Holy crap. <clears throat> Does this vessel have an entry permit? Uh, entry permit? Relax. I got one. Here. That's as old as they get. 
Seems in order. You may pass. Hmm. Wow. This place is amazing. In advance. Could say that. Thirty odd years ago. That's what the guy meant by old. Lucky us, huh? That could have ended badly. Oh, wow. Whoa, that's so cool. It like drops off. That's awesome. Oh, it does that over there too, right in front of us. That's awesome. Wow. Place is beautiful. Now what? All right. Um. I guess we go. <laughs> What's next? Immigration? What do you mean? There's still more. What's this? What Sir, do you want? What is the purpose of your visit? Purpose? Uh. I'm getting married. Ask Ignis. Ignis, a little help? Oh, utterly hopeless. We are scholars of the culinary arts, and we've come to study the renowned cuisine of your fair nation. Is that so? I wish you an enlightening stay. Another one you owe me. <laughs> he was completely chill with it. That's awesome. You want to check Westcombe's place out? Yeah, let's all go to Mago. Perhaps we'll even make it in time for tea. And we'd better start looking now. Mm -hmm. Search Westcombe's bar for... Okay, so we have to find it wasn't kidding. the it... bar. It's big. So, the too. reason why we're here is for Luna Freya, but we're also here for the Hydrian. Which looks like another deity. What's this? Like the D, a D based silver piece. Um, so we do have our main purpose to be here is just for the hygiene, really. So we have another deity on our side. We have two, there's six. This will be our third once we get it. So. Yeah, so we have to get over there. So probably the bridge that's up there. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a maze to learn where I'm going. Oh, what do you want, Pronto? Want to oh, a I heard there's a solid photo spot nearby. Mind if we check it out? Sure. Let's check it out. Yeah, let's go. Uh, the bar. Oh, okay, that's where we're going, dude. We are going to the bar. The bar. <laughs> What's this? Tantara Street. More stuff. Oh, a gold needle. Help us against purification if we need it. Let's go up here. And go down here. Hopefully there's another way to get down. Flock from far and wide to the walls of water. Wait, Everyone is that lady so in the face We're stuck in travel black. Why not try wearing your official Lucian battle gear with pride? You might even become a real trendsetter around here. I'm starved. What's this? Well, right. wanna get me a glass of this. Then why don't you? Yeah, let's hit up Mago later. Okay, not this area. <laughs> Jeez, I don't know where to go. I do not know where to go. At all. There's a boat down there. Let's see if that boat can take us somewhere. I don't know. Maybe. Gondola. Care for a ride? Uh, sure. Take me to that place right here so you have to ride the book to get there well that's how I did it 
Oh, this is awesome! This is pretty cool. Wow. And that uses that to turn it, even though he's actually not turning it. Shop till you drop. This is really cool. Fantastic! Call when you need a ride back. Will do. Atisha, sea on the city. No, pff, city on the sea. What the heck? Welcome to Okoro, lads. Sid mentioned you'd be dropping in. Waskamarma, as you've gathered. My word, you've grown, little prince. Take Let's a take the picture here. first. Good call. Now it's picture time. Before we do anything else, to take this picture. The Stop Arcan's forget about it. resulted in the destruction of the disc. Yet the government proceeds with the right. There's more to this than we understand. Uh, let me get this shot. <laughs> we cut off. Oh, what the heck? I, I, um, that's pretty funny. He's like in the wall, Gladio. Oh, All right, love cool. the lighting. Talk to this guy. He was a monocle. So this is your maiden visit. Enjoying it so far? You doubtless have many questions, so ask away. This country is a part of the Empire, isn't it? Oh, you're wary. I understand. But there's no need to jump at every shadow. Just be aware that the terms of our independence grant the Empire free reign to come and go as they please. We'll bear that in mind. It's admittedly a one-sided arrangement. Most everything we do requires Niflheim's permission. And they wouldn't knowingly permit the Oracle to appear before the public. How our government spun that is quite a mystery. Mm, ask about... this thing. Has anything changed with Leviathan? For now, it's business as usual at port. But word is the government will soon open the altar of the Tide Mother. In preparation for the right. Ah, but on the other hand, they're scrambling to stockpile emergency provisions. This begs the question, if they're anticipating that the Hydrian will wreak havoc, why would they allow the right to proceed? Ask about the Empire. So you see lots of nifs around here? We do, sometimes even at my place. Theirs is a familiar presence, and the citizens don't think much of it. Though the High Commander did cause a stir when he showed up the other day. Ravis. So soon after they fell the Archean and Lucis, his arrival fuels rumors that they will next come to Altisha. The Empire's not content ruling all the land. They want the heavens as well. Let's ask about the Oracle. You really think Luna will make an address? If every recent radio broadcast is to be trusted, absolutely. Where is Lady Luna Freya? In the city somewhere. But no one has caught so much as a glimpse of her. The media has been conspicuous in its silence on the matter, which speaks volumes of government intervention. That certainly explained the rumors of disgruntled Imperial officers leaving the city. Well, if you need anything else, you know where to find me. Thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> My dear Camellia, it's been a while. I heard about your distinguished guests. We can't even see her. There we go. Ah. Gentlemen, I won't waste your time. My name is Camellia Clostra. First Secretary of the Accordo Protectorate. You should know. We have Lady Luna Freya in our care. And the Empire demands we surrender her. What? Yet I am loath to acquiesce unless we stand to profit. Hence I've come to discuss terms with the King of Lucis. If you've a mind to talk, come to my estate. And we will do that. He was like crossed his arm and was she like, nope. be oblique at the best of times. But I assure you, her heart is in the right place. Oh, okay. 
At any rate, you must be weary from your journey. Might I suggest you seek your beds for now and ponder matters anew in the morning? Yeah, I think we'll do just that. Now I see the summit. From far and, wide. and that will be all for this episode, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed. I know it's mostly cutscenes, but next episode will probably be more, be more cutscenes, but it will be story. So I hope y'all do enjoy these story missions. Um, I know Splendid. after chapter Where eight, they, uh, like after chapter eight, because I'm in chapter nine, it goes mainly linear with story. So most of the missions will be story so, missions for now on. Um, yeah. So I hope y'all enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see y'all next one. Goodbye, guys. Just too sick, but now we're stressed